Hey guys, Spider Games here. In the previous video, I showed you 12 power armor locations in Fallout 76, but this time I have 9 locations for you, including the excavator power armor location. So stick around. Here's my power armor map, and we're going south to a place called Garahan Mining Headquarters. Now we have two power armor locations here, let me explain, but that sign there, we are going to want to activate that when we first get here because you'll notice a waypoint on it. First of all, that's how we start the quest Minor Miracles, and that's how we're going to get our excavator power armor. But in this building, we're going to kill some ghouls and we're going to run into some mole miners, and these guys carry what some of the materials anyways that we need um it's gonna be in the minor suit scrap and it's called black titanium um they also carry breathers with aluminum in them so you're gonna want to collect all that stuff they also carry copper um once you break all their stuff down but anyways here's where the first set of power armor is that i found um it had just the chassis with uh you know regular power armor pieces like t60 and stuff but there's another chassis um as you saw me go in the door the first time that's going to always be there for you to put your excavator power armor stuff on. Um, you're going to have to craft it yourself. Here's the materials you need. You need lots of this stuff. Now, you need 36 black titanium, 30 gears, 12 glass, 6 nuclear material, 36 oil, 26 rubber, 60 screws, 60 springs, and 102 steel. Um, yeah, it's going to be a, a long farming session, I tell you what. But, um... I went ahead and farmed a bunch of mole miners, but there are better ways to farm for black titanium. Um, this is where I went, by the way, and this was during the beta, so they just kept spawning in, so it was awesome for me. Um, I got lots of XP, however, I don't think it's going to work like that anymore, so this is a workshop location that actually produces um, black titanium. I'm not sure how you actually do this, though. All we did was claim it. But we didn't produce anything. I was in a rush to do other things, but uh, yeah. If we head north, we're gonna go to a place called Deathclaw Island. Now, these Deathclaws carry up to four black titaniums on them, amongst other things. Um, there's actually a video somebody made on farming black titanium. Um, I'll put a card to their video. Um, you'll see it on the screen right about now. But uh, yeah, he has a good way of farming it using um, turrets and things. But anyways, back to Minor Miracles quest. We finish making our power armor. Now, you need to be a minimum level of 25 to finish this quest because we're going to have to put the power armor on now. So with all the pieces on the chassis, we are now wearing it. We want to get scanned. Go over to this button. You push the button and boom, we finish Minor Miracles. Now, you're going to want to do this because of the quest reward you actually gain a plan here so um i think you get some stim packs and some purified water but we get the power armor station we can now build power armor stations in our settlements but onwards to spot 15 we are going to a place called kanawa nuka cola plant and when you get here you're gonna try to find the basement looking area um, there's a fancy area, then there's this crappy looking area. But anyways, the power armor is sitting on a power armor station. You can go ahead and grab it. Next, number 16 is at Wade Airport. Now, when you get here, you're going to find a hangar that's directly underneath the uh, control tower. Flight control tower. I forget what it's actually called. Go to the hangar underneath that tower, and the power armor should be there. If it's not, then it's not there. Uh, just come back some other time. Number 17 is at Silva Homestead. Now, same thing here. We're going to come from the house to the uh, hangar here, and there's going to be another power armor station. If it's empty, you know that the power armor isn't there. Whatever, if it's there, if, you know, you don't need me spelling this shit out for you. Moving on to number 19, and that's at Point Pleasant, the home of the Mothman. Uh, when you get here, you're going to find this bridge. You can just climb up one of these uh, support beams, and don't fall off like I did right there, because I'm dumb. Uh, get to the top, and then you're going to look right, and you're going to jump to that roof, and the power armor should be there, just out in the open, no power armor stations, none of that stuff. But uh, yeah, very easy to get to. Next, number 19 is at Camp Venture. This is actually a Brotherhood of Steel um, area. Anyways, there are these um, power armor stations outside and it should have one suit of power armor sitting in one of them. Um, go ahead and grab it. Very easy to get to. There are some Scorched you need to kill off first. Um, but yeah, this is a really nice area of the map. Not too hard. Well, it's actually in the harder area of the map to tell you the truth. But anyways, next spot, uh, Robco Research Center. Um, this is a very hard suit to get to. You're going to have to 
fight past very high level either super mutants or robots a lot of robo brains i think there's like two or three but we're gonna find our way to this hallway that's uh got this weird lighting thing going on but uh if you're coming from the lobby like i did you're gonna find the power armor station on your left and the suit of power armor should be in there Number 21, and the last piece of power armor I got to show you, is at Forward Station Delta. This one's super hard to get to. Well, it's not so hard to get to, actually, as it is to get away from these two to three Scorched Beasts. Tons and tons of Scorched, and there are Cave Crickets, Mole Rats, just, it's insane here. Um, don't bother wasting bullets on any of these guys. The Scorcher is going to keep spawning back. Just run, grab your power armor pieces or whatever you want, and then try to run out. Dying, there's going to be no problem as long as you're not carrying a bunch of junk on you. But thanks to you guys, my viewers, for sending in tips um, through the comments to me. Um, thanks for helping me find these. You guys told me where I should look, and I find power armor most of the time. And I have plenty more tips coming in. Um, I'll probably get more on this video. And uh, yeah, guys, keep those tips coming. It really helps. Um, hopefully, in this next video, I'll be able to show you where to get EXO power armor. Right now, I'm at the point where I've joined the Enclave. And now I need to rank up the General. So I need... Uh, I think I need 8 more accommodations. You need 10 accommodations total. And uh, 1 accommodation... Uh, basically equals killing one Scorched Beast or one epic legendary uh, creature. Um, or you have to do one of the Enclave events. And somebody told me that you can actually get two points uh, or two accommodations rather from one thing. But we'll see. We'll see how that goes. But anyways, that's a future video. Hopefully I can show you guys that, how to get the XO power armor. That's going to be its own separate video because the Enclave... Uh, quest line is just so long and uh, yeah that's gonna be a pain in the ass to do but uh so far we've well and I've collected enough information I think I have 40 power armor locations right now but there's probably 75 locations total in this game because there's power armor inside most buildings um, it's insane there's power armor everywhere but uh, yeah guys, I hope you found this enjoyable, I hope it helped you, give it a like if it did, and subscribe for future videos, and as always, I will see you in the next video.